My guest tonight is a Super Bowl champion and founder of the Imagination Agency and an author of the new children's book, Hey AJ, It's Bedtime. Please welcome Martellus Bennett. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Man, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, man, this is, this is great having you here. Uh, you, you are a legend for many people. You know, we have many, <laughs> we do, we have many Patriots fans in the building. We also have many people who hate Patriots <laughs> with all their hearts. But you know, it's one of those funny things where, and I feel like you get this, like people were telling me, they're like, you got a Patriot coming. Oh man, I hate them so much. And I was like, he's here, do you wanna, you wanna tell him to his face? Yeah. <laughs> and then they saw you walk by and they're like, ha. Ah. <laughs> A lot of people hate winners. Right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but but you get you get that a lot of like people in the streets like think they're gonna say things to you because I'm sure people like tweet at you. They say uh, and then when they meet you in public, they just they don't have words. There's so many Twitter thugs. <laughs> and everyone's like, I, I, I just wish I had my chance at you. I was like, you have your chance. Meet me outside right now. <laughs> oh, it's not like that. I didn't mean that. It's not what I mean. Like like this one day, this these guys, this old guy, like. We got these guys who always show up to get autographs. Right, and right, you know right. who they are. It's like right. every single day they're selling your autograph on, e on eBay, right, 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 right. which is discounting my price. You know what I'm right. saying? It's like, you, you're messing with my money <laughs> trying to make sell. your money. You want to sell so your autograph. So this one yeah. day this guy was just like, just yelling at me. It's raining outside. He's like, can I get your autograph? Can I get your autograph? And I was like, nah. I was like, nah, I'm busy. I got my daughter. Get my daughter in the car seat, which is a pain in the ass. Right. <laughs> car seats kick my ass every time. You know, it's like, <laughs> They're not made for dads. And then so the um, so I kind of get in the car. I'm like, man, I'm with my family is raining. My wife is getting in the car. Put her in her car seat. You know. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> and getting in the car. I'm like, man, I just gotta go. As soon as I get in the car, I saw our guests many times. I know his face. You know, right. I don't forget faces. I forget names, but not faces. And he's like, f you, you stupid. Da, da, da. You, that's why you suck. Your brother sucks. Your whole family sucks. And I'm like. Do I just drive this car through this gate right now and Grand Theft Auto you in just a second? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it's, it's funny how like there's, there's a lot of haters, uh, especially when you play for the Patriots. But I mean, you you had an amazing career, ten years in the game, Super Bowl champion, and you retired at the age of 31, uh, which is is not super young for a football player, surprisingly, right? But then you go from you go from retiring in football. And many people would go to sports commentary or they try and get into sports in some other way, shape, or form. But you went, no, I'm gonna write children's books. Yeah, you can clap. <laughs> and they should clap. <laughs> no, and they should clap. That's... Uh, how, like, how do you even begin that journey? Well, like, I always tell people I was never... A, I was born a creative and I learned to be an athlete. Oh, nice. So I've always been creating, and I, no one had to teach me how to create. I always made things. I had to right. learn how to run and catch a ball because the ball hits you in the face. There's a lot of people who can't catch a ball to this day. Right. And some people probably think I can't catch a ball to this day still. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, overall, it's just like I always wanted to make things. Right. Like I grew up in band, playing instruments. I was in a, the plays. I was a mathlete before, and all these wow. different things. So, um, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. I always want to tell stories. So my first, so my first, my daughter was born. So I'm gonna make the long story short. So my daughter was born about four years ago. You know, you start buying all these children's books. You're excited because I'm like, right. I'm gonna share all these stories that I read with her. We'll get Dr. Seuss for old doll. You know, Shel Silverstein, Walter Dean Myers. We're gonna read all these. I read a lot of books. We're gonna read all these books, and then I started like, there's not a lot of characters that look like her. Right. You know, so that representation really wasn't there, and I felt like Disney had its chance. <laughs> <laughs> DreamWorks had their chance, Sony had their chance, and they didn't do it. So I was like, all right, I can make things, let me do it. So I wrote, uh, first I made an animated short film, which I never went to school for, I just started reading books and learned how to do it. That is amazing. And then I started do. I do interactive children book apps as well. Right. And um, other movies, and then this book right here, so I love it because it's just a little black girl and it's not focused on her color, it's just focused on her awesomeness. It, it, it... <laughs> it's amazing to, to get this from you. Because now, now I, like, I have a whole different image of NFL players, because I'm not gonna lie, I buy into the stereotype, I go, you guys are all giants, and all you do is smash, Hulk smash, right? So, so and then now I'm going, maybe like Gronkowski's in the changing room, and then like after the game, he goes in the changing room, and he's like, to be or not to be? <laughs> <laughs> Some stereotypes are true, like I, <laughs> I mean, like I love fried chicken. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Everybody's like, you like fried chicken? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and then, I, like, say, like, black people can't swim. And I go down the family tree, and I'm just like, yeah, a lot of them can't swim. Like, so I was like... <laughs> so you, you're not afraid of this, but you're also bucking the trend. It's, it's a really beautiful story. It's, a, it's about a little girl who is struggling to go to bed, and I love that it's based on your daughter and it's based on the family. Where do you want to go from here? I mean, it, it, it's clearly not just about one book. What is your ultimate dream? Yeah, so this is the second book in this series. Well, my ultimate dream is a theme park, right? Wow. So, um... <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. What's your dream? Theme park. Uh, but, uh, yeah, because that can go one of two ways. It's Disney <laughs> or Michael Jackson. Like, I mean... <laughs> yeah, and I don't want Neverland. You know? <laughs> no, not that one. Right, know? right, right. <laughs> the happiest place on Earth. I would say that Disney's going to be the second happiest place on Earth right. by the time I'm done. It's inspiring, so man. So that's the ultimate goal. It's inspiring, man. Thank you so much for being Thank on you. the show. Thank you. The book is fun. Yeah. You're amazing. Hey, AJ, it's bedtime. It's available now. Montana's Bennett, everybody. We'll <laughs>